What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Wow, I almost said the wrong thing yet again. I'm, I'm thinking about something different, guys. <laughs> Anywho, in our last episode, we rode on a big old mammoth swine, and guess what? We managed to get ourselves to Anistar City, or Anistar City, and, you know, we completed our, our whole thing, our little, our, our little adventure, by defeating our, our future wifey, Serena. So now, in this episode, we're going to be taking a small tour of this place. Uh, if you talk to this person, I can read Pokemon memories. People call me the memory girl. Do you want to know the memory of your Pokemon? Yes. All right, so which Pokemon should I, uh, should I, should I uh, see? Let's go, you know what, let's go with, uh, you know what, let's go with a Star Fox right here. And Star Fox was with Draven when he caught a Pansage. The Pokemon finally remembers that. It felt nostalgic. Really? That's it? Okay, never mind. Anywho, in this place right here, you can you can buy more clothes if you wanted to. And uh, let's see. I think there's some hidden TMs or something like that. Talk to this person. You there. Use this to awaken your Pokemon's hidden powers. Here we found ourselves a TM10, which is hidden power. Now... I did do something off screen, guys. Uh, I did do something off screen, and that was I got myself the TM90 substitute in the Pokemon Center here in Anistar City. So just remember to keep an eye out for that. Now, once you get the hidden power from this guy, he will be able to tell you the hidden power of your Pokemon. So let's just say if you wanted to give it to, you know, Star Fox. Based on, you know, the equations, the math, and all that stuff, because I have seen quite a few, quite a few things of, uh, uh, about that. This Pokemon's move will be bug type. So, yeah. It's all equations, math that I don't know and uh, I, I, I wish not to do. I'm not a mathematician, guys. How these people found it out, I don't know. So, let's see. Let's continue on right here. And uh, let's see. Let's go into this house. And if you talk to this guy, he's going to he's gonna be like, Why, hello there. You must be an apprentice of Professor Sycamore's. I've heard so much about it's my guess that you've come to ask about the legendary Pokemon of Kalo of the Kalos region, Evatol. Well, allow me to uh, tell you what I know. It happened around 800 years ago. The, po the Pokemon known as Evatol spread its, its ominous wings engulfing the lands of Kalos in darkness. At the moment, people and Pokemon throughout the land began to fall one by one. Evatol let out a piercing cry and took to the sky, vanishing to an unknown location. Stories say when it when it nears the end of its uh, thousand year lifespan, Evil Tall absorbs the life uh, the life force of living things around it in order to change or to charge its own energy. Another tale talks about it, uh, of the appearance of just such a terrifying Pokemon. Back three thousand years ago, the Kalos region was engulfed in a terrible uh, terrible war. According to the stories, a Pokemon appeared and stole the life force of countless living beings. Some people suspect that the Pokemon that appeared was Evatol, but there's no way to know. Maybe they're just using a legendary Pokemon as a metaphor for war and pestilence. Hmm. In, t in the tales, after Evatol finished storing the energy it, is ha it has uh, had absorbed, it transformed into a kind of cocoon remaining in a hiding, a hiding deep in the uh, mountains. According to old tales, as I say, tales or end stories. Hmm. Okay. You guys remember how... Do you guys uh, remember how I was complaining about, like, uh... How I was complaining about what they should do when the remakes come out from Pokemon X and Y? That. They should go back 3,000 years and, you know, let's figure this whole thing out. Yeah, kind of want to do that. Now, if you talk to this girl right here, what happened to these strange bunch of folks in their red outfits? I wonder if they are still out there seeking the legendary Pokemon. A few years back, some people came around here asking the same questions. Huh. The plot thickens. Okay, so let us move on just a little bit further. Now, if you go into this house, this is a sad story. You go ahead and talk to this old man right here. He's like, with my wife gone, my life has become very lonely. Would you be so kind as to lend me one of your Pokemon? You know, to keep me company. I hate to be picky, but I love to take care of a Pokemon that's level 5 or under. There's a reason why I have a Scraggy on my team, guys, and that is because of this. You've made an old man smile. Which Pokemon should you lend me? Let's go with Shadar. Truly, will you lend me this Pokemon? Yeah. Wow! So you're a Scraggy, huh? 
I hope you don't get too bored keeping me company with a or keeping company with an old man like me. Now, this is a this is kind of a sad thing, guys, because uh, you know later on in your adventure, possibly after winning the Elite Four and all that stuff, you won't be able to see this guy ever again. But you will be seeing the Pokeball that has your Pokemon that you lent. Uh, rumor has it, or you know how many of you guys say he quite possibly passes away later on into this whole adventure so that right there is a, a little sad now here we are in front of the big old sundial right here look at this thing look at that it's pretty freaking awesome eventually it's gonna it's gonna show like a ray of light coming from somewhere i, I completely forgot what exactly we needed to do to uh to make that happen now let's see some people call out of place uh, artifacts like the Ope Art. This might have been made with the mysterious power of Pokemon. Ah. And you know about these mystery, um, the mysterious object called the Anistar Sundial, right? Apparently, even the most cutting-edge scientific techniques can't break it. Again, another thing they could, uh, they could, I don't know, develop in the in the remakes if there are remakes coming out after the Unova thing. Yeah. Anywho, so what I'm gonna do right now, guys, is I'm gonna go straight to the uh, to the Pokemon Center, grab my uh, my last Pokemon, and we're gonna be going straight into the gym. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so we are back and ready to go. This is the Anistar City Gym, and the gym leader is named Olympia. This place is well, let's see, the person who makes the path uh, with a starlight. Well, they weren't kidding about that because wow, starlights. And, uh, ooh, this looks pretty nice. Anywho, yes, this is home to the Psychic-type Gym Leader, Olympia. So make sure to have any Pokemon that are, you know, Ghost-type, Bug-type. You know, there are more Bug-type moves now. Dark-types. Heck, just bring a powerful Pokemon ready to kick some butt. Now, you step in the middle of this, you are literally going into outer space. That is pretty cool right there. And, uh, let's see, what kind of Pokemon do I have at the beginning? Ah, we got Blade. Okay, maximum effort. Let's go. Don't be distracted by your surroundings. Focus on unleashing your true power. You don't say. Okay, alrighty, let's go. Let's go right ahead and take on another psychic. Uh, his name is Pascal. And he will be coming out with an executor right here. This is pretty cool. So, we're gonna go with Blade. Alright, Blade. Time to do your thing. Time to do it, but to do it. Let's go with a Night Slash. And yes, we are fast enough, so there you go. Night Slash does its thing. Here comes a Psy Shock attack, and that right there hits us uh, and doesn't really affect us and all that stuff. So I, I guess being a Steel-type Pokemon has its benefits and all that stuff. And well, look at this. We have defeated Executor. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty. And Jordan the Goat goes into level 50. That is pretty awesome right there. Okay, alrighty. Eventually, you guys will see what these, uh, what this whole place looks like. Uh, they're constellations in the in, in the sky. Kind of reminds me of Pokemon Snap, the original one. And uh, well, let's see. There are there is there. Um, no, there's nobody right here. So let's see. Come on, teleport us to the next location right here. And uh, this one right here will take us to a dead end. Okay, so let's see. We can get this correctly. There are no Pokemon right there. That kind of looks like a star me. Or a star you, I should say. And uh, let's not step on that. Just the steps alone sound pretty cool. And uh, here we go. Yeah. This whole place, guys, is very basic. So just uh, don't get too frustrated. You won't get lost. You will face maybe three or four trainers. Don't quote me on that. And uh, I think we've already faced that guy. Did we? All right, let's switch it out. Let's go straight for Star Fox, see what happens right here. And okay, here we go. You can go anywhere as long as you never give up. Ah, very positive. A very positive thing. And well, here we are taking on Harry. And he will be coming out with his Metacham. This Pokemon is both psychic and uh, and fighting type Pokemon. So we, eh, we could still do it. Let's go, flamethrower attack. Let's flame boil this guy. Yeah, look at that. Oh, nearly defeat him. And here comes a high jump kick. That right there is not going to be super effective, but here we go again. Flamethrower. 
Let's finish him off. Flamethrower for the win. Metacham. Say goodbye. Alrighty. Okay. And well, Harry is not a very happy camper right now, so let's go right ahead and move on into the next thing. I think all of these Pokemon trainers have one Pokemon each, with the exception of the gym leader. Now, if I go right here... Yes, that will go to that, but I want to see what... Like, the curious old me wants to go right here, and yes, we're going to get nothing. So yes, we're going to be uh, running for our lives, and there is a shooting star. Holy buckets, okay. So there we go, getting into the next section right here, and oh yes, that sounded pretty cool. So we have another trainer waiting for us in the, okay, so that's pretty close, very, very close. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go ahead and give Jordan the goat a little bit of live, and let's see. I had a vision that the battle we are we were about or we are about to have will be different from all of our previous battles. Hmm. Doesn't sound so different for me. So let's go. Let's get it. Psychic Arthur wants to take on us, and he is coming out with a Reuniclus. Reuniclus, I think that's what it's called. And uh, well, let's see. Let's go with Horn Leech attack. Yeah. And. That Horn Leech will give us a little bit of HP. Here comes a skill swap. That right there will uh, switch our, 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 you know, our, 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 our stuff. And, well, we got Magic Guard. Don't know, or, yeah, our abilities. Don't know if that was a good thing or something. So, let's go with a Strength Attack right here. And Reuniclus nearly defeated. Oh, my God. Okay, so it's using Pain Split right here. So, now... We have to drain a little bit of its HP because, well, the heck? Oh, okay, so, uh, <laughs> good move. It used our ability against us, you a-hole. Okay, let's go. Let's get it. Let's go with Blade. It's not a grass-type Pokemon or anything, it's just Blade. So here we go, Psychic Attack. And that doesn't do... Oh, wow. It's not It's not effective, but still it hit us hard. So here we go. Night Slash Attack. That will finish off Reuniclus. Yes. Say goodbye. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. And, well, that is a victory for us right there. Maybe it was a little different because, wow. Skill Swap. Use our ability against us. Oh, my lord. Okay. So let's get the heck out of here. And this one will take us right here to another trainer. And screw it. We're going to go with Jordan the Goat. We got we got leech uh, we got that leech uh, horn so we can uh, we can do some damage with that stuff. So, here we go. Let's see. Taking on Hex Maniac Ar Araka? Arachna? Arachna. And here we are taking on freaking Jinx. It is still a nice type Pokémon. I'm gonna go. I'm still gonna go with uh, Horn Le Leech, and that. Okay, so I wasn't expecting that. One hit KO. Say goodbye. Alrighty, alrighty, and well, Nova grows to level 49, and Arachna has been defeated. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. So there's no way we can go past her. So we're gonna go. Nope. I accidentally stepped on that. And, well, let's go right back right here. And let's go right here. There is another trainer. Why not? Let's get it. The gym exists only by absorbing the power of the cosmos. Ah, the power of the cosmos. So here we go, taking on Melanie, the Hex Maniac. And she will be coming out with a Guard of Hour. This Pokemon right here, very, very, very useful. Both fairy and uh, psychic type. And uh, wow, it's using Sap Sipper. God dang it. Okay. So, yeah, we're not gonna. We won't be able to do anything with that. Let's go back to Star Fox. Jeez. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. And, uh, well, here comes an imprison attack. This right here. Uh, it shares with, so we can't use Psychic, probably. So let's go with a Will-O-Wisp. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, two could play at that game. You are now burnt. Here comes a psychic attack. And that won't work. You are burnt, my friend. That's right. We are being strategic. Let's go with the flamethrower attack right here. And that nearly takes it out. So here comes a Calm Mind. This will actually boost up his special attack and defense. And, well, let's go right ahead and do one. Well, we got one more flamethrower in the, you know, in the, in the arsenal right here. So let's go, flamethrower attack. For the win, say goodbye to Guard Devour. Alrighty. Okay. And look at that. Level 54. Okay. So we're working it. And Blade grows to level 50. Well, Nacho grows to level 52. So we're finally crossing the level 50s. We're looking good, guys. Everything's everything's going to be all right. Okay, so moving on forward. I believe that was the last regular trainer we have to uh, face right here. This one will take us... Huh. It will take us right here. Ah, yes, to Olympia. Now... Before we do anything, guys, let's go ahead and just heal up our Pokemon because, well, yeah, we are good Pokemon trainers like that. So let's go with a few Hyper Potions. Jordan, the Goat, Star Fox, Blade, and that is how we do things. Alrighty. How's it going, Olympia? I like your hair. Hmm. A ritual to decide your fate and future. The battle begins. Oh, wow. A woman, a few words. That's how I like them. Here we go. Here it is, guys. Gym battle number seven against Olympia. And she will be coming out with a Sigalith. Holy buckets. This Pokemon is both fast and awesome. Okay. So I may have chosen the wrong Pokemon. But I am going to take my, uh, I'm going to take my chances. So here comes a Reflect attack. This right here will... Well, yeah, it will make our physical attacks useless. Look at that. Uh, okay, so that right there was a critical hit. And here comes a an air slash attack. And that right there will give us a little bit of damage. So here we go. Strength attack yet again. And let's go ahead and finish it off with one more. Olympia doing her thing. Healing up her Pokemon. Let's go. Strength attack. And... That will take a little bit. So let's go with a horn leech. I know that I am playing. I am playing with a. Well, I should be switching my Pokemon, but yes. I'm wearing out the reflect as well because that right there will enable us to hit it harder once. Well, if we survive, which is not likely. So let's go right ahead and use a, a full restore on our Pokemon. That will use up one of our turns. But it will get us closer to wearing out that Reflect right there. And here comes an Air Slash attack. And that. Yes. Okay. So the Reflect is gone. Let's go with a Strength attack. And here comes a Light Screen. This right here will uh, do the same thing. But for special attacks. Thankfully my Pokemon is not a special attacker. And it will be hitting it pretty hard right there. And wow. Olympia. How many uh, Hyper Potions are you using on one Pokemon? I'm just asking. So here we go. Strength attack for the win, I think. Okay. Let's go again with another strength attack. And here comes a reflect. So this Pokemon is going to be, like, tanking its defenses. So we might as well switch it up. And... Yeah, we're going to have to switch it up right here because there is no point in using Jordan the Goat anymore. So let's go with Nova and see what this is all about. And yes, yes, yes. I hear you guys. I hear those uh, the the elitist uh, Pokemon trainer. How, how like why are you wasting your time? I would have gone with your Nova right away. I hear you, and I just don't care. I'm playing the game, not you. So let's go right ahead with a Thunderbolt. This uh, well, Psychic Attack nearly finishes up uh, finishes off, and that right there nearly finishes off Sigilyph. So. Yeah, okay, so the light screen has worn off. We should heal our Pokemon. That way it could survive, maybe. So here we go, full restore. And here comes a psychic attack. This one, yeah, it's very powerful. 
Yeah, there's there's only a few. There's only a, so much that the leftovers can do. Good God. Okay. Might as well lose. And a psychic attack. Okay. So Nova has fainted. Okay. And the reflect has worn off. Let's go with Moko. All right, Moko. Time to do it. All righty. So let's go with uh, let's go with the dragon breath. And here comes a psychic attack. That won't do much damage, but here comes Dragon Breath coming from the big booger himself. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And Moko grows a level 47, inching closer towards evolution. And it is learning Dragon Pulse. This one's a much more a powerful attack. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch it out. Because I already have a move that causes paralysis. Might as well just, you know, keep one and then change the other. Jordan the Goat, level 51. And, well, here comes Slow King. All right, this is the time where we're going to be using Jordan the Goat because, well, you know, type advantages and all that crud baskets. All right. Okay. Let's go. How's it going, Slow King? He's looking at us all methodically and stuff. But here we go, L Horn Leech. Yeah. Say goodbye, and our Pokemon is fully healed. Look at this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I should have I should have prepared better for the other one right there. And well, she's gonna be coming out with a Meow Six. So let's go with Blade. I need to check what level I need to evolve these Pokemon because good gravy, we need to fully evolve these Pokemon. So here comes Meow Six. And well, what we're gonna do right here is go with a Night Slash attack and. She's going with the Calm Mind attack right here. What is this going to do? Oh my god. And here comes... Yes, the Knights... Or the Knight... Uh, what was it? The Knights uh, Slash. Here comes Shadow Ball. That is going to beat us. Good god. Alrighty. Okay. Alright. You, 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 you messed with the wrong person right here. Let's go Jordan the Goat. Yes, feel the rampage of Jordan. All right, let's go. Strength attack. And here comes a psychic attack. Not so effective. Here it goes. Strength attack. And just like that, Meowsik has been defeated. Okay, all righty. Look at that. And, well, we have defeated Olympia. And she's going to be like, create your own path. Let nothing in your way, your fate, your future. Ah. Uh. Okay, pretty cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Psychic Type Gym Leader. Now, the Psychic Badge, a testament to your skill, proof of your power. There it is, guys. Our seventh badge. Look at that. We're getting closer and closer to winning this whole thing. So, a symbol of trust, level 90 or below. Pokemon will obey. And there we go. We get the TM04, which is Calm Mind. And, well, of course, it does affect the special attack and special defense. It will be increased. You know, the example was right there with Meowsic beating us. Power that takes life awakens voices of woe. That is your, your future. Back from the whence you came. Uh, what the? Man, she's very poetic. You can be transported from here. Warp to the entrance, please. Yes. Farewell. Well, we are transporting back to the entrance. And look at that, guys. Feeling a little heavier because, yes, we got seven badges. Now, once you step outside, you're going to be called out like this. I'm sure getting that psychic badge wasn't too much trouble for you. Right, Draven? Who? What? Oh, it's our lady right here. I think I'll challenge you to a daily battle when this trip is uh, all said and done. Seems like the neighborly thing to do. Let's have a rematch. Battling tough trainers is the best way to get stronger, after all. And, well, we're going to be getting a call right here. What could this be? Hmm. Well, here it is, guys. Lissandre is finally showing his uh, his true colors. Pokemon trainers, I come to you by Holocaster to make an important announcement. Listen well. Team Flare will revive the ultimate weapon, eliminate everyone who isn't in our group, and return to the world a, a, to a beautiful natural state. Unproductive fools are consuming our future. If nothing changes, the world will 
become ugly and conflict with the rays of the land from the end to end. I repeat, we will use the ultimate power and wipe the slate clean. I'm sorry, those of you who are not members of Team Flare, but this is a uh, this is a due to all to you all. Okay, well, he wants to kill us all, so we have to save the world yet again. Oh, gravy. What was Lissandra saying? Uh, wiping the slate clean? Eliminating every Pokemon, uh, everyone uh, but Team Flare? Draven, let's look for Team uh, Flare, uh, Team Flare's headquarters. Where could Lissandre be? Perhaps he's where we first met him in, L in Lumioi City. Probably. Now, let's see. Let's shake these guys down. Team Flare forever because of these uh, outfits add a uh, extra pizzazz to drinking espresso in Lissandre Cafe. Okay. So, yes, we have to go to Magenta, Magenta Plaza, to get to the Team Flare uh, location. So, that is exactly what we're going to do in the next episode, guys. It is, yeah, it's going to get very, very exciting in the next episode. So, thank you guys again for being supportive. Very, very patient and always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.